Hello, everyone. My name is Ian Lumsden, and today I'll be presenting my work over this past summer through Lawrence Livermore National Lab on enabling graph-based profiling analysis using Hatchet. To start, profiling is a way to measure the performance of code and how said code runs on a system. Since it is an important tool for performance measurement, it is extremely important in HPC. As a result, there are numerous HPC profiling tools available, but many of them share a common issue. These tools utilize custom, non-standard data formats for their outputs. This locks users into only being able to use the types of analysis provided by these profiling tools, which are usually limited. Hatchet is a new, general data analysis tool that overcomes this issue by allowing data from different HPC profilers to be read into a single data model, which separates the data into the raw numeric performance data and the caller callee relationships between function calls. Despite providing the ability to read both these types of data, Hatchet does not provide the ability to analyze both types. Instead, Hatch restricts users to analysis of only the raw performance data. So, in this work, I augmented Hatchet to enable the use of the caller callee relational data in analysis. More specifically, I designed a new graph based filtering query language and integrated it into Hatchet. Additionally, I performed a case study using the new query language in which I examined the performance of different MPI libraries in several HPC benchmarks. At a high level, the query language simply searches for a user-provided graph path pattern and finds all matches to that pattern in the graph. It then returns a new graph containing copies of the nodes and edges captured by the filter. On the right, you can see a simple example of the query language in action. This query searches for all paths, starting with a node named solvers, directly followed by a node with a time less than 50, followed by zero or more of any node. There is only one path in the original graph matching this query, so the return graph is simply this path. After implementing this query language, I performed a case study to show both the new analysis capabilities the query language provides and to locate potential root causes for performance differences in applications. More specifically, I examined the performance of the MVAPICH and Spectrum MPI libraries in the AMG 2013, Kripke, and LAMPS benchmarks. I ran each of these benchmarks with both MPI libraries using 64, 128, 256, and 512 MPI ranks, and I profiled all of these runs using HPC Toolkit. Once loading the HPC Toolkit profiles into Hatchet, I used the query language filter shown in box 2 to extract the subgraphs rooted at standard MPI calls. Next, I performed two types of analysis on the resulting data. For the sake of time, I'll be focusing only on the results for the AMG 2013 benchmark. First, I calculated the percentage of the total MPI time spent in each MPI function. In AMG, the MPI allgather function is by far the largest contributor to the total MPI time while well, with most other functions providing relatively small impacts. Additionally, as shown by the numbers at the tops of the bars, the total MPI time for Spectrum is much larger than that of MVAPICH. Next, I calculated the percentage of the total MPI time spent in the child functions of the MPI function calls. In AMG, the most consistent contributor to the MPI time for both libraries was pthread spinlock, although there is also a significant contribution in Spectrum by the Mellanox user space InfiniBand driver, aka libmlx5. Finally, to identify more specific slowdown causes, I focus on the MPI allgather function in AMG due to the large difference between the total MPI times in Spectrum and Vapich and the large contribution of MPI allgather in this benchmark. To do so, I use the query language to first obtain subgraphs rooted at MPI allgather calls. Then, using these subgraphs, I extracted the contributions of the child functions identified as important in box 3b. As shown in box 4, the most notable contribution to allgather comes from pthread spinlock. Due to this, and the fact that Spectrum uses pthread spinlock about 10% more than MVAPICH, I conclude that Spectrum MPI's use of pthread spinlock is a potential cause of its inferior performance compared to MVAPICH in the AMG 2013 benchmark. Additionally, using this case study, I have been able to demonstrate the following new analysis capabilities that my query language enabled in Hatchet. Thank you very much for your time. If you're interested in Hatchet, I would encourage you to check out the original Hatchet paper from SC19, our paper in the Pro Tools workshop here at SC20, and Hatchet's GitHub and read the docs pages.